YouTube, what it do, what it do, what's up? It's your homie, I go by two, and I'm back with another vid, man. And I want to talk about relationship. Relationships. The thing with relationships is, you know, we go through this, we go through life meeting somebody and thinking we're going to be with this person for the rest of our life. Thinking that we're going to marry this person. Thinking this person will never do you wrong. This person will never stab you in the back. Cheat on you. Be, you know, thinking this person will be loyal to you. Faithful to you. And then you find out this person do all these things to you. And then we could go to the part of, you know, with situations and relationships like what type of person you is in the relationship are you a person that goes to relationship after relationship are you a person that has to be in a relationship constantly you have to be in a relationship no matter what because if you think about it what caused that relationship to fail what caused your relationships to fail are you one of those people are you one of those people that blame, are you one of those people that blame the other people that you dated in your relationships that that's the reason why your relationship failed? Because if you're going through relationships constantly like that, we're going to get on this part. If you're going through relationships constantly, maybe it's you. Maybe you so selfish that you don't want to do what it takes to keep your relationship, your marriage. Maybe you don't want to compromise. Maybe you want everything handed to you, everything to go your way, but you don't want to do things for that person for it to go their way. You don't want to compromise. You the one that want to, you know, go out here and cheat. You the one that want to go out here and do what you want, but you don't want the person to do it back to you. Relationship, you know. Maybe you're a person that gave your all in every relationship to the point where you let, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna say from a man's standpoint and a woman, you let this man, this woman take advantage of you. You gave him all your love, you spent money on him, gave him all your time, you did all these things, but they didn't do it for you. They didn't show you the same love. They didn't you know, spend money on you. They didn't do these things that you did for them. And it, and it carry on in another relationship and it carry on in another relationship. What I'm saying about relationship is you have to understand who you are as a person and what you're going to accept in a relationship. Are you going, you got to be straight up for this person. You got to be, hey, I'm not doing this. This is not what I'm going to do. This is, I'm not doing that. I'm not going for this. And you'll see, you'll finally see like, okay, if this person going to stay in there, stay there for that, then this person down with that. But you probably going to go through a lot of them where to a point where people going, well, I don't want to do, I don't want to do all that. So I just, I'll just keep it moving. Now you're not wasting your time. Now you're not wasting your time. And for the women, stop trying to force a man to be with you. Stop trying to, oh, I want a man to pay this. I want a man to pay that. Like, you can't put that on somebody you just met. You can't make a, you can't make a nigga want to spend money on you and do all these things you just met him. Hey, two months. Three months. He don't even. You don't know him. He don't know you. Same thing with the man. Don't go out here spending, doing all this, spending money here and there. Cause guess what? That's what she gonna expect for you. That's what she gonna love about you. Cause you just spend money on her. She not gonna love you for you. She gonna love you for what you do. You know, relationships. People. Especially in this this day and age, you know, people um, kind of selfish. They want everything to go their way. 
they don't want it to go somebody else's way or compromise. When you with somebody, y'all supposed to build with each other. You know, you listen to all these, these guys that be on these relationships, these gurus and stuff, they, half of them ain't, like I said in my other video, half of them ain't never had women until they had money. A lot of them are just nerds. No disrespect to the nerds, because y'all changed the world. But most of them were just nerds, three, thieves, dorks. They ain't had nothing until they started working out and got them some money. But what I'm saying is that in a relationship, you try to be in a relationship with somebody, you have to ask God for somebody. And you, when you get that person, you don't go, matter of fact, you don't go looking for the person. This is for women and men. Don't go looking for, for that woman, that man. Don't go looking for that person. Let the person come to you. Put yourself, you can, you can also, don't expect to be finding somebody in the club. That ain't gonna work out. Unless y'all, unless y'all both just, you know, agreed y'all to the point where y'all go to the club to each, with each other in relationships, but how, how that work out? Alcohol, you know, drunk, no, drunk, tipsy, y'all fighting in the club, everybody see it. Oh, you want a toxic relationship? All right, look for somebody in the club. Now, if you ain't no religious person, but you, or you is a religious person, you go to church, you can find somebody in church. But that don't mean that you gonna find a good woman because she in the church. Because some of the women in the churches, we know they some freaks. But, you know, um, you have to know what you want in a relationship and you have to sacrifice. If you don't want to sacrifice in a relationship, be by yourself and just date. Just be by yourself. Because I don't care how much you say you're single, you're going to be in a relationship regardless because you're going to have, for a man or a woman, you're going to have men here, women there. It's going to get to a point where this that person going to be like, hey, what we doing here? Like, I ain't finna keep doing this. I'm getting older. I'm not young no more. I ain't trying to play the field. I'm trying to build with somebody. Like, what we doing? And then you have to move on to the next person. Next day, you know, you in your 40s because you played so many games. Now it's gonna be now it's gonna be hard to find somebody because most of everybody married unless they out there doing devious things. But we, that's another story. But you know, so. You have to ask yourself these things. You have to ask yourself these things in a relationship. How your relationship is right now. Is this person meeting your standards? Are you and don't put in, and don't be like uh then they ain't doing this, they ain't doing that. Well, maybe it's the reason why they ain't doing this, doing that cuz you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. You may not you may not take out the trash. You may leave your socks somewhere. You may not be cleaning the bathroom. You may not be paying your part of the bills or paying the bills that you supposed to be paying as a man. You may not be doing these things. And a woman, you may not be cooking like you supposed to. You may be always got a smart mouth, doing all this right here all the time. Like, you gotta look at what you do too. Not just what that person do. But it's just, you know, it's your homie I go by too, man. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, man. And y'all let me know about y'all, you know, the relationships y'all deal with. I'm going.